Hello everyone, it was just reset a couple of days ago and I haven't uploaded a full run in a while so I thought it's a good time to showcase the two new characters Mualani and Shilonen together in a Vaporous team. I think it makes sense in the first half because there are no hydro resistant enemies and in the second half you obviously have to go through a lot of geo shields so you need to bring some geo damage and I don't really have any other options than my standard Navia team here. I think this is actually getting... A little bit more difficult than I expected at first, I already did it on my second account. It's a lot of HP you have to go through, so you need to have pretty good damage to like, time the floors with like 3 stars. But let's see how this goes. That's unlucky, my Wu only has like 70% crit. Wow. That's insane. He should be like 20% HP right now. Okay. <laughs> I take that. Well, it's still pretty bad, but let's see how it goes. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a threat. <laughs> they should finish him off, hopefully. Good. <laughs> I mean, that was decent enough hopefully it's it's gonna be close though like that was really unlucky I went a little bit far, so I thought they spawned closer to the edge. Super close, and there's still the two like golem dudes coming. Wow. <laughs> okay. And next is... I actually forgot, but let's see. And I'm also not really lucky. Of course, um, attack is good for the Navia team, but it doesn't really matter for the Mulan team. She's obviously scared of HP. But let's see. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm saving my first, obviously, for the next one. Then, that was actually pretty easy. So this one is probably one year where you're supposed to use a lot more time. Oh, nice. No crit, obviously. My Navi has even more crit than Mualani. 
Oh, I actually can take this with the thermal steel. I think my Navia has an 85% crit or something. <laughs> Let's just use the burst to grow it already grow, never mind. Here the second chamber is way easier somehow than the first. Oh damn, come on, why didn't that grab? I'm not gonna use my burst here. Actually, I used Jung Lee's to break the shield, but I want to have a good setup for the last one. And this should should be I should just random and oh yeah, these drags right. And then the boss in the second half are the Navia team again. How did that happen? <laughs> Am I still getting enough energy for a Yunjin randomly now? Oh, that's unlucky. I think they ran away from Goba, but that's fine. I don't even switch to Yunjin, should be fine. Now the last one, yeah the first chamber was kind of difficult but everything after that was kind of easy. I assume Navi should deal with this guy pretty quickly too so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that's what I meant, or I don't know if I said it already, but sometimes she, uh, not she already, uh, Dori has a little bit too long cooldown for the rotation in this scene. I do one more, just so I didn't get the Shiori. I always say Shiori, but <laughs> to repair so, so I didn't have enough energy. Yeah, not too bad. Like the first jump is kind of difficult, but everything after that, not too bad. <laughs> Now just just quickly go over the builds because there are a lot to show obviously. I think I fixed her energy recharge a little bit. It used to be lower, but with this she feels really good. You can press it basically whenever it's off cooldown. I think I got the feather new, which has a lot of energy recharge. That's good, but I still don't have a defense um helmet, of course. Um Navia was also on this. And I do have Navia's signature weapon, but she is C0. Uh, but this is a refinement 3 because <laughs> I think there was Miss Splitter on the banner, and I thought, yeah, I might as well go all out. <laughs> and I randomly got uh, C3. And um, what else? Zhang Li was in there too. He is like super standard. I even have a random 3 star weapon just for more HP, and Tenacity says on like. Just a high HP build, just to make his shield um, absorb as much damage as possible. 
Uh, I actually kind of forgot. Oh, Mualani was in there too. Um, there she is. I still don't have the Obsidian Codex set. I guess if you have it, it would make the crit problem that I was <laughs> alluding to earlier a little bit better. Um, this is actually, I like it just for the energy and the extra sustain from the healing, but obviously the craftable weapon is a little bit better in terms of damage. But yeah, I like this one just for comfort. Then Dori was in there, just random, just high energy recharge build. You just, actually you just don't want her, but if you have her, you might as well just get as much energy re recharge as possible just to get her burst off to get the value from the energy generation. That's basically all she does, right? <laughs> then Fischl, she has a pretty standard, like, quicken build. I didn't really change it just to play her in a Navia team. Obviously the elemental mastery... The 250 do nothing there, but yeah, I was lazy. <laughs> then Jungling, same thing, basically, in the Vaporize team, you Vaporize with Mualani, so all this Elemental Mastery is kind of wasted. But I, I play her with, like, Ayaka or whatever, so... And she has a really good build, and I'm too lazy to switch it around all the time, depending on which team composition I play. <laughs> And then Yunjin, I recently upgraded her a little bit because I think she's actually really good or maybe she isn't underrated, maybe I just didn't know about her, but um, yeah, I think her normal attack buff definitely is noticeable. And this new weapon is obviously also really nice for her. 